Today we will create this 3D pin board in Blender. We will model the pins from scratch and add a string to make connections. Let's start with an empty scene. Press Shift A and add a plane as a background. Now increase its size. Then add each of your images with Shift A image mesh plane. After importing all the images, we can start scaling them down and placing them on our background. To make it more natural, I also rotated each of them a little bit. Now we want them to look like printed photos. So select one of them, switch to the edit mode by pressing tab and press I for insert. Do this for all of them and then with the face select, select the border and give it a new material. Let's also change the material for the background so we can see our white borders around our images. I will also reduce the roughness on the material of the photos to make it look more like photo paper. Now let's add a point light. Press Shift A and go to the light and select a point light. Move it a little bit up and increase its power. To make it more soft, we will also increase the radius. The greater the radius, the softer our light gets. Let's move it up here and let's see how it looks in the rendered view mode. In this case, I think it's a little bit too bright, so let's reduce the power again. Now that we have the foundation for our pin board, let's model a pin. So start with a plane and rotate it so it faces towards to you. Then switch to the edit mode and press Ctrl R to make a loop cut right in the middle. Now we can delete one half of the plane. After that, we can start modeling our pin from the side view. When finished with modeling, you should end up with something like this. And to make it look like a pin, we need to add a screw modifier and then change the axis to the Y axis. Now look at that. Our pin already looks quite good but if we add a bevel and then also a subdivision modifier, it will be more smoothly. Now in my case, I first duplicated the pin and placed it on all of the images and then added a material. If you want to save yourself some time, add the material first and then duplicate the pins. So let's create the material. Go to the Material tab and press New to add a new material. Then select a base color and play around with the roughness. Now for the bottom part of the pin, I want to have another material which is gray. To select it, you can disable the screw modifier in the Modifiers tab and then select the face of our pin. Let's create another material, make it gray and assign it to the pin. After that you can enable the screw modifier again. Moving on from the pins, we will now create the string. Add a circle and scale it a little bit down. Then copy it and paste it three times and place them in this manner. Now select all of them and join them together by pressing Ctrl J. Now you can go to the edit tab and select the vertices which are in the middle and delete them. Now select the vertices which connect the individual circles and notch them at center. Now an important step to make is setting the origin to geometry because otherwise it wouldn't look correct in the next step which is adding a screw modifier. Leave the axis at Z and then increase the screw value until it looks right. Then we can scale it down to a reasonable size and with Shift A we will add a path to our scene. 
With that in mind, we can go back to the string and add a curve modifier where we will add the path as the curve object. We need to change the axis to Z and now, as you can see, our string goes along our path. Now edit the path to run around our pins and then increase the iterations on the string to make it follow the path. And to finish things up, I will add a red material to the string. Let me know in the comments what you will use this for and I will see you in this next video.